back everybody we are back with ride four we're going to do the stock 600 cup we are nearly completed the asian league as you can see we've got four races to do if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe and don't forget the notification bell we are back on board the suzuki gsxr uh, 600 we are using the axstar suzuki monster energy racing team from moto gp seasons so we are first at the Kanto Temples. Not a strongest track of mine, I have to admit. But we are we're here regardless. So the setup is the same. Obviously, we've used this bike before on the channel uh, and on the game. Just gonna slightly amend the transmission. Suspension can stay the same. So we're still on very hard. Realistic, no rewinds, and we shall go with that soft front. So, let's see how we can get off the line. We've got traction control, maybe go to two. Engine two and uh, braking one. As we come off the line, can we go round the outside of everyone here? And we, yes, we will. Come into the first corner. Nice and easy out of here. Don't want to overwide it, uh, over accelerate, otherwise, you end up hitting that wall. Breaking into turn two, this is the dodgy part of the track I'm not very keen on. Very easy to lose the back end here. Using the acceleration through this bit, very windy. Onto the brakes. That's a dodgy corner as well. I often you lose the front end on that. Did on the PS4 version anyway. To the brakes around that bit as well. Always feel really slow through there. The gap's staying at sort of 0.5 at the moment. It did come down a little bit there. We're normally relatively quick through this part of the circuit though. So let's see how we can get on. Gap's down to point. Oh, it's going up actually. I was going to say down to 0.3, but it's gone up now to about 0.7. Oh, I thought we were going to outbreak ourselves. We hit that wall. That's a bit wide. And um, wide again through there. Up to point seven. Flat out through here. Flick it left a little bit. Hard braking. Very tight left hander here, turn eleven. Through there. Up the hill on the acceleration. Across the line to finish the first lap of the race. We're 0.3 seconds in front already, so that's a good start for us. Onto the brakes for turn two. Don't like turn two at all. Nice long right hander, but have to manage that acceleration a lot. Oh, a bit about um, how break myself then. A bit wide. Gap's still at 1.3, 1.2, so we're doing all right for the rider behind us, Izo Nakano. Not a bad line through there, lost a lot of time though. Don't know what happened there. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that wall. Tire check. Use quite a lot of rig, uh, look quite a lot of grip on the front and rear tire already, which is slightly worrying. Oh, I'm gonna go wide again. Yeah. I suppose you don't pick up a penalty for that, you know. Okay, gap's got to go up to a second there, thankfully. I'll go through here, it should be. To point nine at the moment, there it is, a second, good. Just as we get to our braking marker for the tight turn 11. As we go up the hill towards the main straight. We'll start finish straight, should I say. We're going to go across the line at 1 minute 40. Uh, and we're at 0.18 in front. So let's try and keep that. Maintain that gate to the Japanese rider behind us. Turn it in on the left and then flick it right. 
We're about halfway through tyre wear. I suppose we're just under halfway through the race, so it's not that bad on tyres. Went wide through there, mate. Heavy onto the brakes. And onto the accelerator. Onto the brakes again. Tipping it in. And then flick it to the left. Bit too much there. Nearly cut the curb. Oh, well, eh? He's right behind us now. He's on a Suzuki as well. We get the power down the straight on him. We'll break a little bit later here. Hope we actually get it stopped for the corner this time. We do. Break a little bit early for that one. Gaps down to point one. I don't know what happened in that previous lap, but this is a, it's got to be not a very good lap for us. So he's gained nearly a second on us. Onto the brakes for the tight turn alone. Oh, I nearly lost the front end bit. Okay, gaps back up to half a second. What happened in that lap? Don't quite know what happened in that lap, but I'm two seconds slower. That'll be how they managed to catch up with us. I know we went wide a couple of times, but I didn't think we were going to lose that much time. Try and have a couple of clean laps here as we uh, get to the later parts of this race. Flick it left. Trying to keep it as neat as possible. Time of the race looking at uh, time lap of the lap is looking good at the moment. Oh hello, he's right up the inside of us there as we nearly lose the back end overtaking him. Probably go around us on this corner as well. This is where he overtook us last time. No, nope, maybe not. We're up on time, and he is still right behind us, so he's definitely got some pace. Are we going to go wide? Yes, we are. What's the acceleration out here? Nice and easy. What's the time? About 0.7. Heavy on to brakes for turn 11. Up the hill, starting the main finish straight. Right, across the line, is that going to be an any quicker lap? No, but it is a 140. We're back up to 1.2 seconds in front, so that's good. On to the brakes. Keeping him for turn two. Let's see if we can do another 140. That'll be a good lap. If we can. Keep it in, keep it in on the acceleration. And on to the brakes. We're gonna go wide, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's lost us some time. Yep, yeah, down by point three already. That's wide, he's gonna go round, yeah, full so. We're going back up the inside of him. We touch there as well. Oh, he's hello. He's sort of straight up the inside of us. We'll have him on the straight, hopefully. He's got the power on the straight as well. We'll try and go round him on here as we ain't break a lot later than him. We might have to show him the door here. Yeah. Push him out wide. Keep it clean for these last couple of corners. I was onto the gas nice and early there as well, that was good. Flat out through here, we should gain some time. Break a little bit later for turn 11, but hopefully get it stopped. We do get it stopped. We should be alright. Can't see it's being overtaken now, it's a point 0.4 and it's going up. It's a point 0.5. And we're across the line. Our first victory in the Asian League Stock 600 Cup with a best lap of a 140.3. Well, we didn't get best lap. Someone else had a 139.8. That is a good lap.
What were they on? They were on the same bike as us. There was a lot of Suzuki's out there, to be fair. Okay. That's good to know. But they finished 0 0.6 behind us in the end. We had a good battle there in the last lap, day, And we also had the third place, the Kawasaki, breathing down our neck in that last couple of corners as well. We saw them just at the rear of the shot. Actually, the second place got exactly the same lap time as we did, look. 140.367 for the pair of us. Okay. Even the Kawasaki had a better lap time than us. Fair play. With that said, we've got the credits. We gained another level up. So, with that being said, that is one race down. We've got a time attack, another single race, and another single race. And hopefully we get a Yamaha R1 after this, so that would be cool. So we've got the Tuscuba Circuit motorcycle variant, whatever that means. That's the type of track. Let's go for a soft, soft, seems we're on a, a time attack. Onto the brakes in the final corner. As we go round, try and keep as much speed as possible. We've got to get a 1 minute zero, zero, 002. Onto the brakes in the first corner. Round, we're going to go wide. Hopefully that doesn't cost us too much time. Flick it left for turn two. And then straight and right again for turn three while on the brakes. Oh dear, we've gone wide again. Very wide through there. Onto the brakes. This is all, yeah, it is going to be the short circuit. With the corkscrew on it. We did quite well through that corkscrew there. I think we had a... Whoa, a little bit of a wheelie. I don't know where that come from. I think we'll have gained some time there. Down the back straight. Onto the brakes for the final corner. Break it nice and late. Bring it out wide, bring it out wide, bring it out wide. And in on the acceleration. Can we get across in one minute? Oh, easy. That was with a sloppy lap. That was about a 157 or a 158, I think. What did we do it in? It was a 157.9 and we needed a 1 minute 2. We've gained access to the Japan 1000 Cup group. That is the group that we will be doing in the next set of videos. However, for this video, we still have two races to do. On board the 600 to, uh, 2017 model, we have the, the Okiyama International Circuit, and we've got the GP Circuit, which is the the big the big full track circuit. We're going to go for the soft front as always. We don't have to change the setup or anything like that. Same as normal, five laps. Only really two engine brake in one, traction control two. We're a go. Can we get past the whole field again, coming out for the line? No. Shinjui, we're going to have to overtake the first corner. He's stayed outside of us, to be fair. He was brave going into there. That was almost as if he let go of the brake. We're on turn two. We've got the power out of the corner. Can we get past the flip-flop? Yep, we've had to sit him up. That was a good overtake. He lost a lot of time through there. Round the hairpin. Easier in the acceleration through here, it's easier to slide that rear end. Down the back straight, onto the brakes, clocking at about 150 miles an hour. Tilling it in for the hairpin round turn five. Nice and easy through turn six, here we go, revolver, like the name of that corner. Oh dear, on the rumbles, we don't want to get on them. We've got Yuki behind us, 0.6 behind. Onto the brakes for turn A. Nice little shorter hairpin. And then we flick it right hand for the right hand hairpin. Gonna go wide there though. Hopefully we get the power out of the exit there. Was about half a second through that sector. Onto the brakes for the final corner of lap one. And out. Main straight, 
across the line. Gap to 0.6 still. On to the brakes for turn one. Keep it left for turn two. Williams corner. Tyres looking like they could be okay at the moment. We're up by 4.7, but again, as usual, that's because it was a, a standing start. As we go up this hill, back onto the, the back straight, we're looking at the gap. The gap's at 1.9, nearly one second. Uh, sorry, 0 0.9, nearly one second. We're up by 4.6, so we have increased our time over that last sector. Around the hairpin. Accelerated a little bit too early there. Round turn six, we'll stay off the curb this time. And left for turn seven. Oh, I nearly clipped that curb then. I had to sit it up almost. Onto the brakes, up the bridge. Tipping it in, tipping it in, tipping it in. Let's hope we don't lose as much time as we did last time. That was a much better line, I think. Still went slightly wide. Through the little kink of turn ten. Oh, onto the curb. Three in the last corner, and on the acceleration, nice and early, get the power. As the gap goes back up to point three, we're maintaining that gap. We lost about three tenths of a second on our time then through that last sector, I think. We're going to in for turn two. Nice and easy on the acceleration again. Keep it left. And then flick it right. We're down on time by 0.2 of a second. Round turn four, nice big sweeping corner. Careful of the rear tyre. Tyres are looking fine. I don't think tyres are going to be a problem. It's 53% on the front and 53 on the rear at the moment. And we're probably over halfway through. Oh, we're going to go. Oh, I thought we were going to go wide then. Didn't think we were going to bring that down. Right, keep it left. Stay on the bike up a little bit and then keep it left again for turn seven. Easy on the acceleration. Gaps are point three still. So we're not pulling away with this lap. Salvage sometime there. It was at point three, so it's now point one six. Gonna go wide through this corner again. Can't get that corner right, can we? Through the little kink of turn 10, that brings us down to the last corner. Round the long sweeping hard corner. The gaining time down this straight though. We start lap 4 at nearly half a second in front. We were a hundred tenths of a second, hundredths of a second even down on time. So that's good. the little flip-flop up by two point two should I say on the acceleration turn four nice and easy captain out point seven going back up which is good we're still down by point two on our times which is good this is going to be a quick lap if we can hold it the brakes for turn six, stand it up a little bit and then keep it in for turn seven. That was a bit poor through there mate. We lost some time through there I think. Onto the brakes at the bridge. Still down by point one on our time. So this is good, this is gonna be our best lap of the race. I think that's a much better line through there as well. Last corner. Oh, a bit wide through the last corner there. Rear wheel's getting a little bit, uh, front wheel, sorry, it's getting a little bit warm. Well, Shinsky's back in front. Yeah, we lost time in that last sector there. Oh, very wide through the first corner. We're on the last lap as we go into turn two. Struggling with the heat in the front tyre now. On time, then. That 
as much as we were on the last lap, but we're still up on time, so that's good. That was slow. That felt slow through there. Yeah, thought so. Lost more time through that corner. Nice line through the hairpin. Breaking into turn six. We're going to go wide. We're going to have to use the curb. That slow us down as well. Turn seven. Oh, I don't want to use that curb. That'll send us down onto the deck. This is a sloppy lap. Yeah. Nearly half a second slower. Can hear that bike right behind us. Yuki's right behind us now. Little kink of turn 10. Last corner, brake late. Make it round over on the acceleration. Or oh, Shinsky's done us a job there, overtaking Yuki on the last corner. That slowed them both down. And we take the second win. A 131.725 was our best lap. Shinsky did us a favour there. I'm assuming it's Shinsky, so if I've got the pronunciation wrong. He got... Oh, he didn't get the fastest lap of the race, but he got the quickest lap out of the top three. Uh, you gained access to the first steps in the competition group. Great stuff. We're now level 48, which is cool as well. Another, we've got another gold victory sti uh, a stick, stick, a s gold circle, as we go to Sugo. Shoot Sugo, I'm, I suppose, I'm guessing that's right. It's the GP circuit, so if you saw there on the little, oh, and it's raining. Uh, if you saw on the map there, it's got the little kink, it hasn't got the, uh, hasn't got the long sweeping right-hander at the end, it's got the little kink in it. We'll go with our base set up. We won't be able to change the tyres because it's going to be rain tyres because it's it's raining. So I don't think I've ever done this circuit in the rain. So this could be rather eventful. I don't know how we're going to get on around here, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. We haven't we've done a few races in the wet, so we'll just have to see how we uh, see how we handle the bike. See if it's going to be kind to us. Okay, two, one, go. Here we go, can we get a decent start? We have got a decent start. Yushi's got right in front of us there, mate. We'll give him a bit of room into turn one. Stay on the inside of turn two. Block Sun Kang behind us. Keep it to the left. Oh, we're on the grass. I can't believe we didn't get a penalty for that. I don't know what happened to... Yushia there, that was as if he uh, that was as if he stopped way before he needed to. Don't quite know how we're getting away with using the curbs there, but we'll take it. Okay, so we're doing alright. Return seven, rainbow corner. Lovely name. Back straight, this is a long straight this. We're already clocking 130, 140, 150. Nearly 157 miles an hour as we get on to the brakes and we're going to go wide. Too busy paying attention to the speedo. Okay, two minutes into the left. Use the curb slightly on exit. Keep it left again. Yushia is still right behind us. I braked a little bit too early there for that one. Little corkscrew. Always reminds me of a northwest court through that sort of corner. Okay, so that is our first lap nearly completed as we cross the line. A 141.3, we're 0.6 in front of second place. Let's see if we can keep a couple of clean laps. Tires won't be a problem, because obviously it's rain tires. So they should, uh, they should be fine. Turn four. Up the hill slightly. Easy on the kerbs coming into these corners. 
nicely done through there. Gaps up to nearly a second. Into Rainbow Corner, turn seven. Acceleration nice and early onto the back straight. Keeping the acceleration tidy, obviously, because it's a wet track. Right, I'm not going to pay attention to the, uh, the speedo this time. We're going to make sure we break for the corner. Gaps up to a second now, so that's good. Don't know how we get away with accelerating in the wet on the kerb, but okay. Slightly strange. We won't break as much as we did last time. Tip it into the right. Oh dear. Oh no. That's gave us a penalty. Gave us a penalty and lost us a lot of time. Don't see why we have to gain a penalty for that, but fair enough. 0.072 penalty. Gaps are already back up to nearly six point hundredths of a second though, so we're okay. Okay, so we're about four seconds quicker on 137.4. Let's see if we can get a quicker lap than that without making a mistake. Like our previous lap. I like the way this track's getting darker. I think that's a clever touch. Whoa, that was a little bit slippery. That was a bit better for curbs. On to the brakes. Turn seven. Sorry for not concentrating as much in this uh, this circuit. A little bit more concentration needed for the wet raiding. Net wet raiding. Wet riding. On to the brakes. Coming down. We're going to go wide. Brakes again, tip into the left. Don't use the curb. Tip it into the left. And on the acceleration. Gap still at one second. We're nearly half a second down on our best lap, though. Hopefully, that will improve if we get this corner a little bit better. That was much better. Gap to point 0.6. Do I lose nearly four tenths of a uh, four ten hundredths of a second going through that that little chicane? Turn one, four flat. Turn two, nicely done. Okay, onto the brakes, tipping it in, tipping it in. Oh no, that was sloppy. Didn't lose as much time as I thought I was going to get. Lost time for that slide though. Although saying that gap's now at 1.8, so I don't know whether Yoshia had a mistake as well. No, oh, that's wide. That is a that's a very poor line through there. We're down the back straight. It is nearly seven o'clock in the evening. Local time for riding this bike apparently. A little time down in the bottom left hand corner I just looked at then. We're still down on our best lap time. Might have something to do with going wide in that corner mate. Gaps at 1.2. So we're going half a second. Or well, sorry, we're down by half a second in that corner. We we're up by 1.2. So after this little flip flop, this is a very poor version of a flip flop though. The gap's now down to what, uh, 0 0.8, so that's not too bad. What's our time going to be down by as we cross the line? To start the final lap, it is down by 0.4, so we didn't lose too much time through the chicane that time. And your acceleration nicely through turn two. That was a bit slow. On the brakes, turn three. Grip wise, tyres are okay. He says nearly losing the back end. Down by 0.4, wow. That does feel slow. But then second place is gaps already 1.8, so. Whoa, gonna go wide.
fine through there again. Gap's at 1.5, so we're okay for the gap behind us. On to the brakes, down by 0.7. We're okay. We're 1.6 seconds in front, we've got a penalty of 0 0.72. Or 0 0.072, should I say? Wow, I nearly went very wide through there. Gonna go wide through here as well. This is not a good final lap. Wow! 1.2 seconds slower in this lap than our best lap. That felt very slow through there as well. Easy. Oh! Your she has gone down. We heard the bike there. Sun Kang is now behind us and he's 3.4 seconds behind so we're going to go across the line we're going to win our final race a mistake there from the rider in second place means we take the win I think we were going to take the win anyway to be honest where did he finish in the end ninth place youch that is a, a that is a horrible costly mistake there from the uh, from the Kawasaki rider But it means for us that we have got all four gold circle stamps that we need. We have got the Yamaha R1. And we shall leave the video there. We shall carry on with the Japanese uh, 100, uh, 1000 Cup next. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. And I shall see you all in the next video.